So your confusion is what is the difference between web client and dedicated web client, right? Yeah. See web for web client. Okay. Civil six, the one that you see, the one that you use, it is basically a dedicated client because something needs to be installed. It is very fast. Have you ever felt that Civil six is very fast? Yeah. As compared to Civil seven and all. Okay. So Civil six is very fast because it is installed in this manner. It has a direct connection with the database. Even in the companies, you will see it will be very, very fast. Reason being, the business logic layer is installed on the lap on the computer itself. So dedicated, let's forget the web part. This dedicated part is the main part. So dedicated is the main thing. So it is dedicated in sense. Well, what is the name? Let, let's forget the name. No, basically, what it means is, you know, something is installed, and because of that, it is very fast. Let me tell you another example. Yahoo Messenger. When you install, you install Yahoo Messenger, right? You know that you can browse Yahoo Messenger on the web on the web browser, right? Have you ever tried that web messenger? Web Messenger dot Yahoo dot com. No, not that. I am logging into the web messenger. Look at this. Okay. All your contacts are also shown the same way. This is reminded. This is not install anything. Okay. It is a web thing. You know, it's all in the Internet Explorer. Okay. Okay. If so, the advantage you don't need getting, to, you don't need to download messenger. Yeah, the customer does not need to. I do not need to. Yes, you're right. I do not need to download messenger. So messenger. this is the advantage Yahoo is getting. Okay. Right. You can send the messages same way, exactly same way. It is. It is basically, you know, uh, it is basically what it says. You know, it is a basically Internet Explorer. Okay. Similarly, we all know there is a Yahoo Messenger client also. Remember, it will be very slow. You have to remember that. Okay, so what is my point? My point is even Yahoo has three types of client. One client you said that you can use Yahoo Messenger on your cell phone also, right? Yeah. That's wireless web client. Wireless web client. This one is web client. Web client. Then the one that you have been using all your life is dedicated client. Okay. Okay. Shall I do one by one? No, one by one. Okay. So this concept is applicable everywhere. Okay. With a little bit of difference, you know, here and there, but main thing is dedicated web is basically uninstalled thing. It is always fast, but the problem is, every time you have an upgrade, you have to roll it out to everybody. Okay. Do you ever see, you know, like in case of Yahoo Messenger, you know, some people you know, when you send somebody a message, Yahoo Messenger, says, the other person is using a lower version, older version of Yahoo Messenger. Remember? Why this is happening? Because they are not using the old version. Same thing happened. With Pinal yesterday, right? He was yeah. using older version. He cannot send the file. Correct. Exactly. So, had we been had we been using Yahoo Messenger on the web, we would have not encountered that problem because the latest version will be used by Yahoo. Okay. Because only the version is basically determined by Yahoo itself, right? All the new things, everything is at the Yahoo server, and we are just connecting through the internet. Okay. Right. So the point is that is the advantage of web client. Rollout is very easy. Got it. Rollout is simply Internet Explorer based. Dedicated is something needs to be installed. Okay. Okay. Now, in case of Siebel, what needs to be installed? Business logic layer gets installed. Database does not get installed in case of dedicated. The business logic because it has its uh, server itself. It connects to the server itself directly. And directly. if server is not available, it won't be able to connect anywhere. Right. Okay. So it will show a blank screen. So GUI, GUI is also needs to be installed. Needs to be installed. The interesting thing is. You know, GUI also has two things. One is what needs to be made. So the entire code of writing the GUI. Second thing is publishing the GUI. So there are two, three things. One is business logic layer. Then writing the GUI. Then publishing the GUI. The only thing is dedicated web uses Internet Explorer to publish the web. The code to write everything. In case of web client, everything is on the net. Okay. It's on the server. It's on the server. Even itself. the code to make web client is also on the server. Right. From there the code comes. This is what needs to be. What it means is, when you go to Amazon.com, like revered Yahoo.com, the entire code, how this page will look like, is actually on the server. When you right. went to Yahoo.com, this whole page got loaded. That's what happens in case of web client. <coughs> <coughs> That's what happens in case of web client. Okay. Right. The entire thing comes from the server. Server itself. But in case of dedicated, the code, what it should look like, is actually residing locally. Only the face look and look and feel is given in the GUI, GUI in the Internet Explorer. Okay. Okay. So 
what do you write? What is the reason why they have internet explorer? Reason is this: so that developer doesn't have to make two applets, one for web and one for dedicated. So they made the same architecture. So if you make one applet which can run in Internet Explorer, it will be useful for web client as well as for dedicated web client. That is the funda. Why? Why? So that is the reason they came up with this new concept, dedicated web. Otherwise, dedicated web is basically not web. It is dedicated. Okay. Why they call it web is because it is open in the open Internet Explorer. Internet Explorer. But when it opens the Internet Explorer, is it like connected to the web only, or it has something locally? It, it has, has so locally as well. Everything locally, actually. Yes. Right. Everything is local. The that's entire website is created locally. That's why you don't need a uh, internet connection to open Figure seven point seven, seven point five. Yeah, but just open Internet Explorer, but you don't need internet connection. Well, actually, you don't need internet connection is the, is the wrong thing because you need the connection to the database. No, for seven point seven, you don't need internet connection, right? To open Figure seven point seven or seven point five, still it opens in Internet Explorer, right? Yeah. So you, but don't you don't need any connection. Oh yeah, yeah. you don't need internet connection because yeah. because we are talking about sample. In case sample, of sample, yeah, sample, yeah, yeah, that's only sample. Okay, that's not corporate. Yeah, yeah, yeah I'm talking about sample which we are using. Yeah, being corporate, corporate, yeah. you do need uh, database, right? You need database. Database will be okay. not all all of the database is gonna be stored in your laptop or correct, your computer. Correct, correct. But so it's gonna yeah. be like millions of tetras of bytes. Perfect. That's all. Okay. So now you understand. Yeah.